So we're back with another full lap and test. And this time we're in the Anis S80RR. For those of you that don't know, Anis is just about the laziest acronym for uh, Nissan you could possibly get. Um, and this is based on, ooh, what is it based on again? Bear with me, bear with me, I've got this here. I've got this, don't, I am prepared. I promise, I am prepared. You are not ready. Where are we? There we go. It's based on the Nissan R90C, um, apparently, which is a, uh, a Le Mans car. Um, and it actually comes in a really cool livery. This thing comes in the Martini um, livery. I know it's a bit more orangey than red, but what a fabulous, fabulous livery this is. There are a couple of really realistic ones. There's this one. There's the shell livery on the RS200. There's the Gulf livery that you can get for the Escort or, or the Retinue. So there are some fabulous liveries out there. So let me stop driveling on about liveries and actually start to talk to you about this car, which on first glance seems fantastic. The handling's incredible. This thing really, really sticks. And the turning is just absolutely incredible it's so so quick on the turning but it's not you've, you've heard me other cars that are quick on the turning describe them as being spiky this is nothing like that it's just the handling on this thing is absolutely fabulous it really is one thing i was worried about i thought with it being a race car it might actually end up being a little bit too light but it isn't really it's uh, it's not too bad at all so you can you can hit the curbs and you can hit other stuff safely actually so let's get it on the freeway stretch its legs and see how it does well that's just great isn't it now that actually highlights one of the problems I've got with this car um, apart from the fact that the top speed is slightly disappointing I thought it'd be a lot faster um, but that's not the big problem let's just get around uh, cliff geek corner and then I'll have a bit of a moment I'm gonna try this without braking. I think I just about got away with that. So that was with a bit of a lift, but no brake. And to be honest, I think that's the first time I've ever tried to take that corner without even a little dab of brake. Um, so do you know what? I think it kind of did okay. So the, de the downforce is you know, beyond reproach with this thing. It's brilliant. The one thing that really bugs me is the angle. So the following camera, seems to be set at a much lower angle than most of the other cars and that makes it really awkward to drive uh, i don't know if it's just because we're used to it being a bit higher maybe it's me that's not very good i don't know um but i find this incredibly difficult to drive because i find it quite difficult to see what's coming on it's really really easy to have head-on smashes as you probably noticed by the fact that i've had about a thousand of them um just because you are so much lower you, especially if you're going around corners it can be really difficult to see people come in the other way so so that's my gripe i'm not going to say it ruins it but it does make it slightly frustrating right so top speed time and um, for those of you that are new and <laughs> for those of you that aren't you must be sick of me explaining this but there's a section of road that's one mile long i floor it between them time how long it takes me to get through and that gives a measured achievable top speed And I don't, I'm not holding out much hope for this one because it doesn't feel very fast. It really doesn't. I suspect this is going to be quite disappointing. So I guess it's review time. Uh, whew. Now, don't get me wrong, this thing has a lot of things going for it. Handling is absolutely sublime it's one of the best handling cars in the game it has to be just it feels so well sorted it's light it's direct it's good fun it's rear wheel drive but it's controllable it's just great it really is um handling through the town is great getting through traffic is not too bad because it's not that big a car the top speed is disappointing, um, and I think that's going to show on this lap. This lap does not feel particularly quick. I don't think we're even going to trouble the middle of the table. Um, the camera angle is a real problem for me. It, it just makes it so much more... <laughs> yeah, and this is not the neatest 
way through the traffic but you know what it'll do the camera angle makes this thing much more difficult to drive than it needs to be i don't know why they've set it so low i know it's a race car i know it's a low car it doesn't need to be this awkward maybe you'll get used to it and maybe on races it's brilliant but my reviews are about how usable these cars are how much of the speed can you actually achieve on the normal roads with npcs and players around and i think based on that i think there are much cheaper ways to go a lot faster than this so do i recommend it it's worth picking up it's great fun um but i wouldn't break your back to earn the money if you're short on cash i wouldn't break you back to earn the money for this one so thanks for watching and uh, we'll hopefully see you in the next one